Hey, what's up? Welcome back. In the last video, I explained how you can download any fonts and you can upload them into WordPress to Elementor so you can use it for your websites. And it's also very uh, helpful to know that um, if you have watched my other, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have watched my other tutorials, then you know that I also use Canva for, uh, for example, to design a logo or a site icon. Or you can make your banners uh, with Canva for your uh, YouTube channel or for your Facebook page or whatever. And of course, it's also um, good that if you use a certain font on your website, for example, that you use the same font also, for example, YouTube, Facebook or your logo, that kind of stuff. So therefore, it is also very helpful to know how you can upload a custom font to your Canva account. And it's very easy to do. The only thing that you have to um, make sure is that you have a Canva uh, Pro license. So with the free version, it's not possible to do this. To, to do this. But if you have a, a paid subscription for Canva, which is uh, very cheap, uh, by the way, then you will have this option. And in this tutorial, I will show you how it works. So in the last tutorial, I uh, have showed you how you can download, for example, this Obelix Pro font. Um, just a quick uh, reminder, you can uh, just search for it in Google. You can go to this website, uh, thefontfree.io. In this case, uh, I have searched for the Oblix Pro font. You can click on download. And after you have done that, then you can click over here at, uh, on this button to download a zip file. The only thing you have to do is you can extract the files that are in uh, the zip file and then uh, in this case, it are four uh, different files, and then you can upload them to Elementor. So I will use the same example for this one. And uh, another site that I wanted to show you is uh, it's kind of similar, but it's called thefont.com. And over here, you have a lot of uh, fonts that you can choose from. Uh, you can just scroll to uh, all uh, kind of uh, fonts to see which which one you like, or you can uh, search for a certain font. And the only thing you have to do is click on download. Then a zip folder will uh, will be downloaded, and you can extract it and place the files in a different folder, so you can upload it to Elementor or you can upload it to Canva. And that's what we're going to do now. So how it works is like I mentioned, you have to make sure that you have a uh, Canva Pro account. And um, let me see where the screen is because I have a lot of screens open. Yes, over here. So this is uh, my Canva account. I uh, have a Canva Pro account, a Pro license. And what you need to do, it's very easy. After you have logged in, you just have to click on this uh, link over here called Brand Kit. If you click on it, then you will be, um, then this page will be displayed. Over here, you can see all the funds that you have already uh, uploaded. So as you can see, I have a lot of fonts that I have uh, uploaded. The Oblix Pro is already there. But uh, for this example, let's say it isn't uh, there uh, already. How you can edit is just uh, go to textiles. Now you can click on upload a font. So click on it. And after you have done that, you can go to the folder that you have created. You can select a file or you can select all the files. Click on open and then uh, they will be added and that's basically it that's the only thing you have to do and if you now click on uh, create a design for example you can uh, create a new design let's say 1920 1080 pixels click on create new design if you now drag a text widget for example or a subheading or whatever now you can search for the Oblix Pro or whatever font that you have uploaded and as you can see now you can also see what the difference is between the the four different files that uh, that I have downloaded so you can see this one is the Oblix Pro regular you have the Oblix Pro uh, bold it's kind of yeah it's it's, it's bolder you have the, the bold italic and you have the Oblix Pro italic in this case, it's uh, barely um, noticeable what the difference is be between those uh, variants, but uh, yeah. So you can see whatever you like, and of course you can also uh, give it a different color or whatever. So 
that's it. You can also do it for the for the subheading and for uh, the body text. It's uh, it, it works all the same. Just select the text, the, the font that you have uh, uploaded. So now you can use the same font for all the designs that you make in Canva, uh, for the, the, the designs that you do uh, for your website with Elementor. So you can make sure everything is the same and that will make things uh, look a lot more professional instead of you using all kind of different fonts. Um, yeah, so I hope that's clear. If you have any questions about this, make sure to let me know. If you have suggestions for other video topics or things that you're struggling with, things that, you're, are, that you find hard or you can't uh, proceed with, with certain things because you don't know how to do it, make sure to let me know. I will do my best to make a separate tutorial about that to help you out. If you uh, haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so. Also hit the thumbs up and of course hit the notification bell if you want to stay updated on all the upcoming videos that I will upload because I have a lot of more things that I want to share with you guys uh, and I believe I can help you out with. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you again in the next video. Peace out.